Welcome. This is a short demonstrational video showing how to access pictures and images from external devices into Firefly. You'll first need to navigate to Firefly directly to be able to access this content. Again, this is done from any browser. You could type in www.kurzweil3000.com and then you'll just need to enter your username and password in. Once in the system, you want to make sure that you are on the Universal Library page. It should be the page that automatically comes up, but at any time you can press the Home key. That will bring you back to the Universal Library. In order to add content from an image or device, you will have to have that particular device connect to your computer. I'm using an iPhone for this example, and I have plugged the iPhone into my computer system at this time. So therefore, I can go to my computer icon and it'll show me my computer system and I can then navigate to devices that are connected to my computer one of which is an iPhone go to the storage location go to the most recent folder and access the picture that I've taken this particular picture is a simple picture of one of our user manuals for Kurzweil 3000 just thought it would be a good example and you'll see that as soon as I open it, it starts processing it. It just takes a few moments for it to actually search up the file. And then once this page opens, this is the Kurzweil interface. It takes a few seconds to process this page. So just be patient depending on how uh, detail-oriented that page is. And there you go. Now you have the picture of the file that you're working on. And Kurzweil now will read this. And you can do all the things that you would normally do within Firefly right in the system. Um, if you'd like to navigate or organize this file to some other location, you'll want to click on the hamburger icon, go back to library. Once in library, you'll want to see that particular file. This is the most recent file we just opened. And if you want to move that, you can use the move functions to move it into a different location. So if you want to put it in your personal private folder or share it with somebody else within your system, you can do that. Hopefully this is helpful, and if you need additional help, please review other videos available on the website. Thank you.